And, and now we want to bring in, uh, talk a little bit more about the new gun control package that is expected to pass next week, John. Yes, the House is expected to bring up this package of eight bills together. Uh, it will be voted on by the House Judiciary Committee. But there was a spirited debate yesterday in Congress, and here's Democratic Congressman Madari Jones. We will not rest until we have taken weapons of war out of circulation in our communities. Each and every day, we will do whatever it takes to end gun violence, whatever it takes. Now, a lot of people believe this is a false choice that Democrats are proposing here. Even some Republicans seem to be on board with this. You've heard the call for raising the age to purchase these firearms. Now, some people believe you can both do, do two things at the same time, protect children in schools, but also protect the Second Amendment. Now, Democrats in the House Judiciary Committee have accused Republicans of being complicit in these recent mass shootings. And Congressman Louis Gohmert had this response to that. To infer by rhetorical supposed questions, who are you here for? We must be here for the gunman is an outrage. Congressman Louis Gohmert. How dare you? You think we don't have hearts? It's just that when we look at the things that you're doing and you're trying to do to America, we've seen the carnage. Congressman Louis Gohmert joins us live now with more on this. Thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you. Uh, it was hard to sit through 10 hours or so listening to Democrats uh, say that we were as bad as the shooter, we, we wanted to kill people. It was just so outrageous, the insults. Uh, we could successfully sue them for slander if it were not in a government hearing. Just really outrageous. And, and keep in mind, the people who say it's just fine to, in utero, rip off a baby's arms and legs crush the baby's head and then pull them out of the uterus, that that's just fine. They want to tell us how to keep kids safe. This is people who want to castrate little boys and cut off the breasts of girls, and they want to tell us how to keep children safe. This is just it, to sit there for that many hours, having them condemn us because we want due process. Their idea, they say, oh, we're giving people due process. We're going to have confiscation without representation. Uh, that's basically what they're proposing. They'll give you a due process hearing, but you don't get to be there. Uh, you know, and, and you don't get to have anybody representing you there. It'll just be the people that want to take away the guns. And we saw during the Obama administration that they started having the VA ask veterans, do you write the check to pay your bills? And if you said, oh, my wife or somebody else does, they put that in your records and yeah. they use that as a reason to take away your guns because you're not competent to write your own. This is the kind of red flag stuff. These, this is what these people are about. Yeah. And, and con due process for somebody that was a judge meant you got both parties present and both gets to make their case. That's the due process. Congressman, we're also dealing with, you know, the leftist media and their coverage of the shooting in Tulsa. You know, we do know police now say this shooter targeted the doctor because of pain. Definitely nothing yeah. to do with white supremacy here, but it still didn't stop, uh, for example, the Washington Post invoking race. We have this on the screen here. The shooting came on the 101st anniversary of another horrible event in Tulsa when a white mob pillaged a black neighborhood, killing hundreds in one of the worst episodes of racial violence in the nation's history, they write. And then, Congressman, they mix the Tulsa shooting in with the shootings that we saw in Uvalde, Texas, in Buffalo, New York. So you you do yep. have this narrative that ends up being very different than the facts that are uh, to be reported when you leave it up to the media. Right. I'm so glad you pointed that out. Uh, that's the Washington Post. It's the liberal media being race baiters. They want to divide America just like Obama, Biden did, like Biden and Harris do now, uh, like the Democrats want to now. They don't want to come together and work together. So. We didn't have a chance to have any input in this bill, the confiscation without representation bill, uh, and yet we're supposed to have freedom in this country. These people are wanting to take it away. They're wanting to take care of your children, even though they're okay 
with mutilating mutilation of our children and they're in charge. It, it is just really scary what the Democrats are trying to do. Yeah, the Protecting Our Children Act or whatever they call it. I mean, this is the definition of gaslighting when we know the most immediate yeah, way to protect exactly. kids is to get armed exactly. guards and harden these schools. But again, they don't want to talk about that. They want to take police out of schools. I got one more question for you on this before we move on. I want to talk to you as yes. well about the DOJ indicting Peter Navarro. But, you know, we had Pete Sessions on here, one of your colleagues, a Republican yesterday. He seems to be and some other Republicans seem to be OK with this idea of raising the age to purchase these firearms. Are you OK with that? Uh, well, since I served four years on active duty in the Army, and uh, we ask 18, 19, 20-year-olds to take these weapons of war, which, you know, back then it was an M16, now it's an M4, which is basically an M16 where you can adjust the stock, but, uh, and, and handguns, you know, those were given to 18-year-olds, and they were allowed to use them. Well, uh, Thomas Massey brought up the issue, look, what about not only those that are in the service and that have been trained, or those that have had training, been, you know, veterans? Well, they didn't want veterans, but if they're in the service, okay. But we were concerned about the spouses of those who were serving. Shouldn't they be able to have a gun? I know I got a, a, gun, a handgun for my wife when uh, what she had that while I was in the Army. We were never in combat in my four years, but, uh, you know, we, you're sent on temporary duty constantly. So to say, Democrats say, no, we're not going to protect your spouse, but you're going to leave her unprotected. Uh, or, you know, gee, you're old enough to be asked to go kill people for to protect your country. But you're well, actually, Nadler, Chairman Nadler said they're neurologically not. It does seem like there's a concerted effort not to develop to have guns to yeah. make sure that the people who don't vote for Democrats don't have access to guns. And a lot of times that means people That's who right. enter the military, uh, people who live in rural America, too, that use these guns yep. for hunting. I mean, a lot of people have to take hunter safety, gun safety courses before you can get a hunting license yeah. if you're under the age of 18. Right. So there's a whole issue of problems here. But right. let's talk about Peter Navarro. The DOJ has, in fact, indicted him uh, for contempt of Congress. He also sued uh, the, the committee. But what do you make of this latest development? Merrick Garland's DOJ actually coming after now Trump administration yeah, officials John, for their failure to it, comport it, with this political committee. Yep. It, it actually puts an exclamation point on the fact that we have a two-tier justice system. Uh, if you're a Republican, you can't even lie to Congress or lie to an FBI agent or they're coming after you. They're going to bury you. They're going to put you in the D.C. jail and terrorize and torture you and not live up to the Constitution there. Uh, however, this comes on the heels of Sussman being acquitted because the jury that had a bunch of Hillary Clinton lovers in it, donors even, uh, they said, look, uh, you know, He's a Democrat, and of course they're going to lie. Everybody lies. Yeah, well, how about that jury four person? No big deal to yeah, lie to the FBI, yeah, huh? Exactly. Yeah, but so this puts an exclamation point. Democrats can lie. They can fail to show up for Congress. They can lie to Congress like Brennan Clapper did, and uh, no consequences. Uh, we we had referrals. Devin Nunez had referrals. Uh, for criminal action that never, nothing was ever done. So it's very clear, if you're a Democrat, then you can lie, you can cheat, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can advocate for castrating children or cutting off breasts, and you're wonderful. We want you in charge. But if you're a Republican and you say, this is not due process, this is a goat rope, and I am not going to be part of that, then uh, we're going to put you in jail. That is very clear. But we have got to get some resonance out of the Supreme Court that this failure of due process has got to stop. 
it's got to stop or this little experiment in self-government can't go on much longer until we do that. A lot of people feeling the same way. Congressman Louis Gohmert, we appreciate your time today and your reaction oh, again to that breaking you. news on Peter Navarro being indicted uh, by the DOJ. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.